On today's show, we are going to craft a devil crab cake. How about that? We're going to combine a devil crab and a crab cake into one, and that's going to be Abaco's Bar and Grills devil crab cake. Hey, how about it? We got all of our ingredients right here. Welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. Why don't we go ahead and get started on our devil crab cake right now. Let's get started on our devil crab cake. Hey, here are our ingredients. We've got sour cream, we've got mayonnaise right there. We've got Dijon mustard, yellow mustard. We've got a little egg, we've got some hot sauce. We've got some butter, that butter's at room temperature and soft. We've got some um, garlic powder and some onion powder. We've got some cayenne pepper right there, right here. This is, uh, this is a Cajun seasoning. Uh, maybe something's flying up up there to, uh, Get you a link to our Cajun seasoning video, or you can use Old Bay or uh, Tony Sasseries or something like that. That's fine. But right here, we got some celery seed, we've got some lemon juice powder, some paprika, we've got fresh thyme and fresh parsley. We've got a pound of crab meat. Uh, I'm using the, the claw meat. Make sure you go through and kind of sort of, you know, look through it, kind of feel through it, pick through it, make sure they're, uh, they're not too many little. Uh, shells and if they are toss them out uh, and if you're using uh, canned crab meat or store-bought crab meat rinse it out kind of get some of that salt off of it and then right here we've got some panko breadcrumbs um, and that's going to kind of sort of pull everything together and we're going to be adding that at about a quarter cup at a time so make sure you got about a cup cup and a half so i tell you what that's it that's what we have this group right here we're going to combine right here in our bowl. So I tell you what, I'm gonna move my coffee cup out of the way. And then we're gonna relocate a couple of things. We can get the breadcrumbs and the crab meat. And then we're gonna come over and we're gonna get mixing up. First thing I'm gonna do is drop this egg in here, just like so. And how about that? <laughs> no eggshells. I don't know, sometimes that just happens. So anyway, we're gonna come in and I'm just gonna give this a real quick mix just like that just kind of break it up put this right here for a second i think you know you're going down in there now we're going to come in with our mayonnaise we're going to drop that in there okay yes sir just like that you stay here now we've got our sour cream and these are i think it's about a quarter cup each and again you know it making a mess what the heck right <laughs> Now we've got a tablespoon of our Dijon mustard. Yep, let's see, get all that off of there, come on. And we've got some yellow mustard right here, same amount. Okay, now we've got about a teaspoon of hot sauce. I'm using um, that Louisiana style hot sauce. Use whatever hot sauce you would like. Now we've got some celery seed, and then we've got our, um, what is that? That is our onion powder, our garlic powder, and our Cajun seasoning, and our cayenne pepper. Here we go here. This is our lemon juice powder and paprika. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then we've got our, um, our uh, fresh herbs. And then we've got two tablespoons of our room temperature or soft butter. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to move these over here because I know we're going to make a little bit of a mess if we don't. Okay, so just like that. And what I need back is our whisk. And we're going to do this just like so. Retire you. And now we're going to combine all of these into one nice little concoction. And this is going to be our wet ingredients. And then we'll fold in our crab meat and then we'll fold in our uh, breadcrumbs. So there we go. That wasn't, that wasn't too hard, was it? Heck no. So there we go. Heck man, that might be a pretty good dipping sauce. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. So God, I'm just making messes left and right today. Now I'm gonna come in with our crab meat. Oh man, check that out. Just like so, just kind of sort of break it up just a tad more. Okay, just like that. Now, we're gonna come in with our other 
spatula and we're just gonna fold this in we, you know we don't want to whisk it in and break up that crab you know it's nice to have some of those nice big pieces of of claw meat you know kind of sort of throughout now you don't have to use claw meat you can use the body meat if you want kind of sort of what you can get your hands on just like so oh yes oh yes awesome just like that and i think that's got it how about that we almost almost ready to cook aren't we <laughs> And we're going to come over and we're going to begin adding our um, breadcrumbs. And it's probably going to take half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of that. Neat thing about these is that these are almost all crab meat. You know, we're trying to keep that filler down as much as possible. Okay, just like so. Okay, oh yeah, it's coming together. It might be right out of half a cup. I always like to have a little extra so I don't have to go run through the uh, pantry and find them you know what I mean so here we go let's see you know what yeah, almost just like that and I tell you what I'm gonna come in here with just a little bit more just like that I think we're gonna come and wind up with about three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs so here we go we're just gonna come in here we're gonna fold this on top of each other just like that knock that down there it is that right there is our devil crab cake in uncaked form <laughs> so i tell you what now yeah that's that's gonna be perfect that is perfect i'm gonna come in here and get all that good stuff off of the spatula put it back in there now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to cover this with some uh, that, uh, that plastic wrap and I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. And what that's going to do is going to allow those breadcrumbs to absorb some of that, uh, that moisture and tighten itself up so we can make a nice tight cake. And when we fry it, they won't fall apart. <laughs> All right, we've got our devil crab cake mixture kind of cooled down. Things have kind of sort of tightened themselves up. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making our devil crab cake now i do have some oil over here we're getting ready to get this whole thing wrapped up and going now i'm going to come in with like a little measuring cup just like that this is a half cup measuring cup anyway <laughs> so we're going to come in and i'm not going to make the biggest ones in the world uh so we're going to come in just like so and that's it right there there's there's one cake and you know what's neat about um about this is you can make this uh, these ahead of time you know a day or so ahead of time if you got a little party going on and, um you know time's running or may run short maybe running uh, you know late from 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 work and you know something like that's going to happen so we're going to come in and uh you can like i said you can make these a, a day ahead of time cover them with plastic wrap and put them in the uh in the fridge and when you get in bam you're ready to unwrap and then drop in the oil so here we go just like this now this is a little guy here this would be perfect for like a little appetizer size right there so let's see am i yo man missing a little bit of that crab meat there we go just like that so here we go now what 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 <laughs> what this uh recipe yields is seven of these so yeah you can kind of cut them back to get about eight um what's kind of sort of neat is through the magic of editing, ha, boom, we're done. <laughs> How about that? So, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna come over here and get a, my hands a quick little rinse, get all that devil crab cake mixture off, and we are ready to cook. I am going to cook probably two of these. You know what, I'm gonna, I think I will cook all three of the ones we just made. So I'm gonna put these back over here, and we are ready to go put these in down and away from you so if you drop them they won't splash on you just like that here we go and you might be saying well what what kind of hot liquid do you have in your pan well i've got a uh, coconut oil i got about two tablespoons of coconut oil now you can use uh you know canola oil vegetable oil whatever you 
have on hand. I just kind of sort of like to use uh, that coconut oil. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of sort of get these uh, spaced away from each other. You don't want them to crowd up. So we're going to cook these about three to five minutes per side or until they're nice golden in color and warmed through Oh man, I tell you what, these things smell so good. I tell you what, we are we are at the point that we are going to, I think, give it a little flip. Oh yes, sirree. Man, that looks awesome. Yes, bingo. Now, I tell you what, I think I might just turn that down just a tad. Oh yeah. Now we are now what I was that first that first cook I was on about a medium high. Now I'm gonna turn that down to about a medium and we're gonna finish these guys off right here, right now. Oh man. Oh man, all right. I tell you what, these things are about five minutes away from being complete. We've got the oven on bake at 350 degrees. We're gonna drop this in there. Five minutes and it's time to plate and eat. I, it's been right at about five minutes. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, yes, sir. Those things look great. Let's see. Make sure I don't burn myself. Remember, when it comes out of the oven, it's 350 on the handle. Remember that. So, here we go. We are ready to plate up. We've got our sweet corn and black-eyed pea succotash. I'm going to move this out the way right there. I've got a little... A little uh, a uh, towel there we're gonna come in and we're just gonna drain those just for a quick sec just like so oh man heck yeah just like that now we're gonna take this move you out of the way so i don't touch you again i tell you what i need this back one more time so here we go all right here we go we're gonna begin plating our devil crab cake just like so wow oh man that's good that is good heck yeah now we can come in here with uh, some lemon got a little bit of a garnish just like so heck yeah. why not because we can just like that come in voila now, if we do like, maybe we can come in with some lime, just like so. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Voila. Just like that. Oh, man. Heck, yeah. Just like that. Here we go. <clears throat> How about that, man? Heck, yeah, that was simple. That was quick. That was easy. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to come in. We're going to just... Add a little bit of parsley, just like that. I don't know. How about uh, get one more piece? What the heck? Right there. And how about that, man? Heck yeah. Voila. There we are, man. There is our sweet corn black eyed pea succotash. We've got our devil crab cakes. The longest thing we had to do was wait for it to set up in the fridge. Heck, before that, what was that, five minutes, I guess? <laughs> Cooking, maybe 10 minutes all together. But there you go. Holy cow. Man, I hope you all try this thing out. Speaking of crab cakes, right down here, guess what? We've got sheep's head and scallop cakes for you all to try. Hey, and right here, click that subscribe button. And again, please try this. Let me know how it turns out. And I'll tell you what, until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.